Ladies and gentlemen, this is very amusing. I'm going to read you a couple of articles on intel agencies and also Democratic senators wanting a damage assessment, a damage assessment that they didn't compile or uh, analyze when it came to Clinton's private servers with top secret intelligence siphoning classified data. Ladies and gentlemen, for years, without even President Obama knowing, without the United States government, think about that for a second. And you could read the statement by FBI Director James B. Comey on the investigation of Secretary Hillary Clinton's use of a personal email system, July 5th, 2016. It says right here, although there is evidence, quote, although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, it's right there. He told everyone Clinton was above the law. He stated there's evidence of violations of the statutes. I mean, it's actually right there. This is in the second, third to last paragraph, or no, fourth, one, two, three, four, five, sixth paragraph from the bottom. Although there's evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. Question is a couple of things. Who asked for Comey's judgment on that? Nobody. That's why he was fired. Nobody asked for his judgment. He obviously took the side of the Democratic Party or the nominee at that point, and I want Clinton to be nominee again. Nobody will be happier on this planet than if Hillary Clinton becomes nominee in 2024. I'll vote for Trump a million times over. I do believe Trump would defeat Clinton again. But this has all the hallmarks of a, a Clintonian public relations stunt, just like when the Steele dossier source worked with a public relations executive linked directly to both Bill and Hillary. But they want a damage assessment of Trump. So we can go ahead and really, really quickly. We'll, we'll get back to that. But here, um, Warner wants damage assessment from Intel community. Uh, CBS News, NBC News, Intel officials will assess risk to national security from, from documents found at Trump. Here's the problem. They will never tell you categorically. They will never guarantee anything they say. They will never state, he damaged national security. This is exactly how he did. They will say things like, oh my goodness, it's possible that this took place. It's possible that that took place. And then with Clinton, you can look here. You have, our judgment is no reasonable prosecutor will bring such a case. Um, and then he talks about the most hilarious things here. In addition to letting the world know that some people are indeed above the law, so they keep making this claim that nobody's above the law. Well, we have Hunter, who, by the way, got former officials and one person in the Bureau, Federal Bureau of Investigation, who resigned just recently. They all got Twitter to suspend the Washington, the New York Post's account, okay, for actually reporting on graft, bribery, quid pro quo, pay to play schemes, kickbacks, okay, which by the way, you had one um, very famous uh, liberal saying, oh, kickbacks, no big deal. Trump University is worse. What? How on earth is that even? Po how can, see, when you get down to liberal, if you are, defending the indefensible based on liberal sensibilities you'll just defend anything there, there there'll never be again there'll never again be a watergate moment in american politics because the democratic party side especially cannot look at anything objective in an objective manner they can't look at anything objectively and say okay well this is pretty bad this is actually worse than uh, Trump University. Actually, the foundation that Bill and Hillary run, which is almost certainly uh, a graft organization just where money is funneled into the uh, foundation and beneficial treatment took place. And we, Uranium One is an example. You had 20% of U.S. uranium capacity at one point being sold to essentially the Kremlin. And President Obama didn't veto the sale. That's not, th these aren't my words. That's Snopes. And that's the New York Times. Okay, I used to be on the left, so I, I, you, you, I'm, I'm citing their own the publications that they revere. The New York Times helped break that story. Okay, 
And you can have, I mean, there's the issue of yellow cake um, going to uh, unknown locations. That's within that New York Times article. But hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel, H.A. Goodman's other channel. Share this segment everywhere. The interesting thing is they want a damage assessment. And nobody, we never got a damage assessment from four years of private servers. So you have a situation where, um, like, we don't know. We don't know what the damage is here. For example, seven email chains concern matters that were t classified at the top secret special access program level when they were sent and received. These chains, these chains involve Secretary Clinton both sending emails uh, about those matters and receiving emails from others about the same matters. Well, we don't know what the matters are about. Where was the damage assessment? They want a damage assessment on Trump. I mean, that's hilarious. On boxes in Mar-a-Lago, where there's no evidence that somebody stole those boxes. There's no evidence somebody took a copy machine and made copies of those boxes or, or whatever was in the boxes. They could have indicted him already. See, here's the issue. You could have indicted Clinton because she did commit crimes. Again, I want a Hillary Trump 2024. That would be fantastic. But she did commit crimes. Hunter, we know. I, I mean, his photos are full of criminal activity and videos and text messages and all that stuff. And Joe lied. Where, where, where are the Pinocchios in the Washington Post? He lied through his teeth. And when he... He was lying while slurring his words through his teeth about being aware of Hunter's business activity because he was actually meeting with Hunter's business associates in the West Wing as vice president. We didn't have those emails when uh, Trump almost certainly, right yet again, was accusing Joe of um, altering U.S. foreign policy, forcing out a prosecutor. We didn't have the email that said, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? Then the rebuttal is, oh, the email doesn't line up in terms of dates. There's no graft 101 where an email or like a money flow has to like line up in a certain, you're getting money and the, the contractual obligation, of course, whether it's written or unwritten, is if you're getting millions of dollars, you're very likely going to do someone a favor. Either it's uh, written down or there's an unspoken agreement between people that are giving. Why do you think people give money to Hunter or Bill and Hillary or anyone in the Democratic Party or Republican Party? Why do you think they give donations? Why do you think anyone gives a donation? They want something in return. Nobody just gives money away in, in, in a political sense without wanting something in return. And they get something in return. You forced out a prosecutor. But then the when Democrats focus on the, I say, just for the algorithm, miss type of information. It's miss uh, type of information. Okay. That's called a rebuttal that you disagree with. Because they could simply say it's false information. It's false. But they don't like, they can't say it's false. So... You can't say that Hunter didn't receive emails from people that wanted favors. One of the emails says, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? What Democrats don't like is suspicion. That's why they say misinformation is harming people's lives. They don't like suspicion or distrust. They want everyone to just abide by everything they say at all times because all the smartest people in the room agree with them. It could be about any topic. The problem is when they're proven wrong, when the, the reality or facts or data or evidence or clear violations of the law in Clinton's emails or uh, Hunter's um, emails or, you know, Joe lying through his teeth. When, when, when you see the actual picture and you say, wow, these people are liars. Then they say, oh, my goodness, so many, so many people believe things that aren't true. No, the, it's right here. For example, seven emails. And then Clinton is still saying she didn't have classified data. It's right here. Seven email chains concern matters that were classified at the top secret or special access program level. That's the highest level on servers. Servers. Okay? With respect to potential computer intrusion by hostile actors, we did not find direct evidence that Secretary Clinton's personal email domain in its various configurations since 2019 was successfully hacked. But given the nature 
of the system, we assess that we would be unlikely to see such direct evidence. Of course you would be unlikely to see. What are they going to do? Give you a thank you note? Where is the, I would love to see the assessment, the damage risk, the risk assessment of um, Hunter's pay-to-play schemes or Clinton's top secret intelligence on servers. Can we ever get that? We'll never get that. We'll get the entire system saying, oh my God, Trump is a danger to national security as you have actual criminal activity taking place on the Democratic Party side. And then they say that information isn't accurate. It's very accurate. It's a rebuttal to your absurd nonsense regarding Trump. It's very accurate. It refutes a bunch of your claims about Trump, him being a menace to society, worse than Democrats. No, you can make a rational, educated, logical uh, case or argument that, that what Democrats have done with Hunter and Hillary and uh, just even one person having a romantic relationship with a foreign, with a, with a foreign intelligence officer, allegedly, um, you, these things are far worse than anything Trump has, has done or accused of. Because yeah, they haven't, he hasn't done anything. They can't accuse him of anything, even in a court of law yet. It's been, it's, you know that meme where the, the, it's the, the t uh, Titanic survivor, this old lady, she's like 84 years old or 104 now, whatever, uh, more than that, whatever. And it's been 84 years. That's the thing. It's going to be 84 years before they get an indictment of Trump. They might actually indict him in 23, but they won't convict him because they can't commit, he didn't commit a crime. You could easily convict regarding top secret intelligence or any of Hunter's emails that the Daily Mail and the New York Post broke. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Where's the damage assessment for all the criminal activity on the Democratic Party side? And look, it's not hyperbole. Look what happened in, in Nevada. You had a Democratic politician, ending, almost certainly th that's the case, looking like he ended the life of a journalist at the Las Vegas Journalist Review. And that was a Democrat. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now.